Bam was a was a performance like this sort of needed, especially coming off the loss and especially the season coming to a close? Yes. Uh, definitely, definitely wanted to bounce back from that last uh, last loss. And we did that tonight. Bam, since Nico joined the starting lineup for good five, six weeks ago, two months ago, really, what has he done beyond the threes falling and beyond what he's just provided as far as box score stuff? What has he done to earn your trust with regards to what his role might be in the in the postseason? Uh, he's making it hard not to play him. You know, he sets the tone every night. You know, he makes plays. He makes the right plays. Uh, gives those extra efforts that we need. Bam, uh, as far as going into Sunday, what can you guys build off of when you saw today? Was it maybe the, the turnovers, how you guys were, you know, had four turnovers, the other team finished with 17? And just in general, uh, you know, what can you build off from today? Uh, I would say how the ball moved today. You know, I felt like everybody was involved. The ball wasn't sticking. Everybody was getting in the rhythm. We like games like that when it feels like everybody's having a piece of the pie. What's it like that you can do all you want on Sunday, but it's not fully in your hands for the best possible playoff seed? What's it sort of like going into a situation like that? How do you ruin this moment like that? <laughs> Bro, Because there, there's bigger moments. We're just, we're just going to take it one game at a time, Ira. Have you been following the race and the seedings? We're going to play Sunday, and then we'll figure out the rest. Bam, uh, congratulations for the victory. Um, how do you feel throwing triples going to the postseason? Uh, you have tried at least one triple in 14 of your last uh, 16 games. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like it just makes us more dynamic. You know, it brings the big out. And, uh, you know, people are starting to scout it more. So it doesn't do anything but open up the paint for slashers like Jimmy, Caleb, Tyler, getting the paint. Um, make plays I know I know we talked about the collective effort but looking at it specifically from your point of view I think you started one for nine last game and then you were very efficient this game eight for ten what was working this game compared to last game uh, we got more of a movement I got more in rhythm um, you know instead of just posting up it was more on the fly on the go in transition different ways of scoring I know you'd play 48 minutes and then some Sunday if you had to, but how nice are these nights that Caleb plays? Or was it Jaime played 32 and no one else played more than 30? Just how valuable is that at this time of year? Man, I mean, it matters. Because when you get in those, you get in those big battles of the playoffs and making playoff runs, those, those games like that matter. Um, being able to rest. Yeah, Bam played 25 minutes. You know, being able to rest and, uh, you know, really recoup. Get extra, extra treatment, extra recovery, um, you know, and still cheer on your team. Black lives matter, people. How good does it feel, the continued growth of you, playing with the starters, getting that chemistry with the starters, and having a game like tonight where after what happened against Dallas and the ball didn't move at all, today sort of everything was popping? Uh, yeah, I mean, it feels great. It feels great, especially to get a win like this where, you know, we had so many assists. Uh, what, it's 37? Uh, I mean, that's what it was all about in the, in the morning practice, you know. Uh, just moving the ball and uh, finding other guys, you know. Uh, that, that, that's what we, how we got to play if we want to score, and uh, that's what we did tonight. You guys could still technically finish anywhere from fifth to eighth place in the east, avoid the play-in, play in the play-in. How much are you guys kind of discussing all the different possibilities in the locker room just in the final days of the regular season? Uh, we're not talking a lot about it. I feel like uh, you just got to go day by day. And, uh, you know, we got to keep working on uh, on our game and not worry about, uh, you know, who's going to be the opponent opponent until we know who it is. And uh, we just – it was important to win this one and the next one for sure. And then what happens, happens. We'll see who, who we got and we'll prepare good for sure. Do you, do you feel like coming off of the, the loss to Dallas and having a performance like you guys had tonight that it was kind of the exact thing you guys needed, especially kind of going into the postseason where you want to play to all your strengths? Yeah, 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 for sure. And like I said, uh, 
uh, Spo had, uh, you know, Spo and us, all of us on the same page, and I think uh, that's what he did. We know what our strengths are. Uh, we know what to do, who needs the ball, and uh, how to move the ball, and uh, who needs the ball at certain moments, and uh, that's what we're going to continue to work on, and uh, when the time comes, in, uh, in a few days, we'll know what to do. Nico, you've been a part of the starting line, part of the rotation for a while now. But beyond whether shots go in, the actual you know, make or miss of the, being on the court, in what ways do you feel like you are earning Spo's trust as far as being a regular part of the, the postseason rotation? Um, defense. And uh, I think uh, defense is, is the thing that keeps you on the court. And as long as I can be good there, I, I think you know, I'll be able to play. And uh, I feel like at this point they believe in me and they see that I can really defend. And uh, that's what I've you know, worked on a lot. That's what I'm going to keep working on. And that's what's going to keep me on the court. Nico, you had such a big role last summer for the national team. How much, do you, when you look back at that, how much did those eight games over there really help you sort of keep, continue evolving into the player you are right now? Um, I mean, it, it helped a lot. It helped a lot for sure, especially because, you know, uh, every game there matters. And if you lose, you know, it can be the game that sends you home. And uh, those are the games that, you know, uh, probably feel like uh, like playoffs. Uh, and they helped me a lot just being around those guys there and playing against, you know, uh, I mean, uh, all the good teams there, you know, all the, good, all the good national teams, even though, you know, maybe the USA was not with the best roster, they still had a good squad. We played a lot of good teams, and I think it prepared me a lot for this year. And, uh, you know, coming back from that, I had, uh, you know, a little setback. But uh, things got kind of figured out, and now I'm back on track. Good. Thank you. Thank you, guys.